Thunderstorms require three ingredients in order to form. One, a source of moisture. Two, instability in the atmosphere. And three, a source of lift. Many thunderstorms in the United States result from what is commonly referred to as the clash of the air masses. Warm and moist air moves northward and collides with a cold front dropping southward. However, cold fronts rarely, if ever, reach Florida during the summer. So you may ask yourself, why do we then still experience thunderstorms on most summer days? Let's take a look at those three ingredients, the first being a source of moisture. Typical sources of moisture are large bodies of water. Here in Florida, we have significant moisture sources during the summer from two very warm bodies of water, the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. The second ingredient is atmospheric instability. Air is considered unstable if it continues to rise when given a nudge upward. An unstable air mass is characterized by warm moist air near the surface and colder dry air aloft. Instability forms during the day as the near surface warms faster due to the sun's input. If the air receives that necessary nudge upward, it cools as it rises. Water vapor in the air will then condense, forming clouds. The third ingredient is that source of lift. A cold front is one example of a boundary. However, we've already mentioned that Florida rarely experiences a cold front during the summer months. So what else is there? The daily sea breeze is another example of a boundary. We experience the formation of the sea breeze in Florida almost every day during the summer. We'll discuss how and why the sea breeze forms and how we get thunderstorms along it in other video segments. But for now, just think of the sea breeze as a mini cold front. Other types of boundaries include lake breezes and thunderstorm outflow. Thunderstorm outflow is that rain-cooled rush of air we feel ahead of approaching storms. So as we've seen in the last few minutes, all three ingredients required for thunderstorms are common here in Florida during the summer. This is why thunderstorms are in our forecast almost every day from June through September.